Hello and welcome to a Design Fleet Templates uh, Photoshop tutorial. This is going to cover how to customize and edit the three different um, viewing walls. I have the horizontal, the vertical, and the mixed um, viewing wall with vertical and horizontal mats on them. We're going to take it from, um, we're actually going to be using just this viewing wall to demonstrate because the instructions are the same for all three of these templates. And I'm going to take the mixed mat, mat viewing wall from this to this. And I'm going to demonstrate how I created this, um, how to place the images within the template, and how to lighten up this overall color and tone of the viewing wall. Now when you first download these templates, they're going to come to you in black and white. The reason I did this is because Etsy only allows me for 20 megabytes of space um, to upload templates and to create these in uh, full RGB would make the file size too large. So in order to give you the highest resolution image to use, I had to convert them to black and white. So when you open these in Photoshop, you immediately need to go to image uh, mode and change it from grayscale to RGB. Now anytime you click and drag your images in, instead of turning them black and white, it's now going to be in color. So once you've done that, I want you to um, open up your images and we're going to start clicking and dragging them into the template. So I'm going to enlarge the size of this. If you go over to the layers panel, you'll notice there's only one layer. That's the layer for the template with the mats and the wall. Uh, you'll be placing all of your images in. Default will automatically bring the images above the layer. So all you have to do is move them below layer one. So let's find our images. I'm going to open up all my images in a preview window. Um, I have them all collected into one file on my external hard drive. And there's a couple ways you can do this. You can actually open up a preview window and click and drag your images over like this. And um, it'll automatically add a bounding box around your image so that you can scale it down. If you're in the current version of Photoshop C CC 2015, um, there's a new update, I think it's 0.3. It will automatically create this bounding box around and you can hold down your shift key and drag an anchor in to reduce the size of that image. If you have an older version of Photoshop and it does not have this option, I want you to click on the layer in the layers panel, move the image below the layer, uh, below the top layer of the template, and now you'll still see the bounding box and the full image is going across a few of the mats. I want you to go to Edit, Transform to Scale, and holding down the shift key on your keyboard to constrain the, por the proportions of the image to not distort it, I want you to click in any of these corner anchors and bring the images in. Okay, and we want it to be, just like if you were actually matting an image, you want to give it a little bit of space on the outside of this mat so that it, you don't see the transparent background on here. If you want to do a different crop on this, you can actually just hide it behind this layer. And let's go and get a horizontal image. So I'm going to go back into my preview window, and I'm going to click and drag another image over. And again, I want to hold the shift key down and drag in a corner anchor. And I can go, once I've done that, just release it, and I can bring in another corner, and I can bring in another corner until I have that image set to where I want to have it behind this map. And I'm clicking return on my keyboard to set the, set the image and turn off the transform option. There's another way to place your images in the, into this template. Just go to file to open and on your um, computer or your external hard drive locate the images that you want to place into your document. Now once you've located your files on your external hard drive or your computer, just click on an image that you want to place. You can click on it and hit open at the bottom right hand corner of your screen or you can double click it and it'll open up in a new um, tab. Then go to select at the top of the Photoshop menu, hit all and a marching ants is what I call it but a selection box will appear around your entire image. Go to edit, to copy, then click on the um, other tab with the mix map viewing wall on it and then go to edit to paste. And again, um, if you have the newest version of Photoshop, you can automatically use your shift key and start scaling it down or go to edit, transform to scale. Using your shift key, you're going to reduce the size of this image. And I am actually holding down my shift key still while I'm clicking on the image and moving it further into the document. And then I'm releasing my shift key and then I'm done scaling it. 
I'm going to place this image um, over the mat that I want to approximately where I want to put it. And I'm going to take this layer and put it below. Actually, I need to hit return on my keyboard to set that. Then I need to um, click the layer and move it below the template layer. And again, I'm going to select that image, select that layer in the layers palette, go to edit, transform to scale. It's a little tedious, but you have to do this 15 times to put images into this template. And then once you have your image set, click return. Another way you can do this is by clicking the tab, pulling it off, and um, what I did is just hit Command minus to shrink the size of that window. And you can use your move tool to click and drag the images, image onto the template. And again, you'll just have to move it around, go to um, find the anchor point. So I just have to move it down until I see an anchor point. Um, go to edit, transform to scale. And then holding down your shift key, bring that image in to size it down. Then I release the shift key and I'm just moving the image up and in until I place it behind the mat. If you think the mat is a little too dark, the mat and the wall, you can make this a little brighter in color. I left this up to you. Some people like a darker wall. Um, others want a very, very bright wall. The wall itself that I photographed this on is a light gray color, um, so you will have some gray in the image, but you can make the mats a little brighter. Click on the layer with the mats and the wall and then go to Image, Adjust, Levels. And with the middle slider, I want you to drag it over to the left and move the slider over till it hits about 1.30 to about 1.36, and that's pretty bright right there. Then click OK, and then I want you to go to Image, Adjust, Brightness and Contrast. And slide the brightness over to the right just a little bit, I would say about to 10 to 12, and then move the contrast over to the left to about minus five to 10. And now you'll see a huge difference. So now that you've brightened up your mats and your walls so it looks a little bit more white against a lighter gray wall. So now that I have all my images placed on my digital viewing wall, I want to flatten all the layers and save it as a JPEG so that I can add it to all of my marketing. So go to layer at the top of the menu to flatten image and you'll see all of your layers compressed into one layer. Then go to File to Save As. Then I want you to save your file something different than the file name that the template came in. For example, call it Viewing Wall underscore your client's name. And make sure the file format is selected as JPEG, not Photoshop, and click Save. Now remember to always save a copy or of the original template file into a separate folder. You can name it templates so that you can always have the original copy of your template that you can go back and use anytime you want to. Okay, that's it. That's all the instructions you'll need to get started on these templates. Again, you can use all of these instructions on any three of these viewing wall templates. And you can purchase any of these templates at designfullytemplates.com or on my Etsy store, just search for Designfully Templates.